All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another video. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. For this review, I'm gonna need you to put aside your normal knife paradigm. And you will see, as I have, that this fixed blade is fantastic. Guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Say, uh, well, I already said say hello to all those guys, but uh, definitely uh, subscribe, hit that notification, all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell, and check me out over on Instagram, nice fast. All right, so this is the Kaiser Variable Worn Cliff, and it is a little fixed blade worn cliff uh, made by Kaiser, designed by Dirk Pinkerton. This is probably going to be a fairly short review because, I don't know, it's a little fixed blade. There's not you know, a lot of things that I would normally uh, check on a fixed blade and it's so small, but this thing is great. Now, here's what I meant by putting aside your normal fixed blade knife paradigm. People are seeing this from my unboxing and they're going, a punch dagger without a point. Guys, every knife doesn't have to have a point. Um, I have said a million times that there are so many knives being produced for everyone, for every task, for every style, for every, uh, you know, thing that people like, preference. Um, and this is something different. No, I do not picture this as a punch dagger. No, I do not picture this as a self-defense weapon. Now, could you? I don't know. I'm not self-defense trained with a knife. Uh, so, I'm not your guy. Somebody's going to come on here and say, yes, you could. And you know what? You probably could. Did I just cut myself? I did. That is okay, guys. This knife is sharp. Uh, not bleeding, though. That's great. Um, how in the world? I don't even... I think I came on that tip right there. By the way, don't do that. So there's a little uh, tip on the sharpening choil there, and I, I must have just sliced myself right on that tip. Right there. See? Right there. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we have a black coated blade. Um, we have the Kaiser logo here. We have variable worn cliff designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Um, we have beautiful weave carbon fiber scales with black hardware. 14, uh, excuse me, 154 CM. I am going to bleed, aren't I? Ah, oh, dang it. Just a little bit. I cannot even believe, I don't even know how that happened. Uh, but anyway, moving on. So really, really cool uh, knife. Now, what is this, guys? You're asking me, why are you so hyped up and excited about this knife? Uh, so this, to me, is the perfect drop in your pocket. Now look, I complain a lot about, I like fixed blades, but I don't carry them a lot because sometimes it's really hard to carry them. You can drop this guy in your pocket. I carried this two different days and I enjoyed it greatly. It just disappears in your pocket. It snaps in there really tight. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you wanna put like a, a pocket clip on it, you can, um, but I just don't see the need. This is a pocket dropper that I can easily, if I'm in the office with a bunch of people, I can pull this out and I can go right to town uh, cutting something or opening a package. This thing is a ridiculous tiny slicer. And yes, if you want to, it's got jimping up here. Uh, and golly, there is a little bit of blood. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to get a Band-Aid real quick so YouTube doesn't fuss at me. Uh, so I'm going to do that real fast. You can look at the knife. I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out exactly how that happened. Um, but do know that this knife is a sharp uh, boy. So we're going to take care of this so you guys don't have to look at that. And you know what? My whole finger is going to disappear for you. Uh, at least the tip of my finger. Uh, see, look, you can't see my finger anymore because it's camouflaged. All right, fine. All right, so we're back. Um, so yeah, I mean, as far as getting down in something and cutting into a package, this thing is perfect. It is a cool little slicer. I mean, this thing is, uh, well, if I can actually, there we go. Just really, ugh, this tape is killing me. I need to cut some more cardboard. I, I'm going to go do that right after this review. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this knife. Uh, but it is just super stinking cool and it is a slicer. Uh, I'm going to wipe it off because I just got tape goo all over it uh, because 
Yep, that's what happens when you use uh, tape. So, uh, guys, just a really cool knife. Now, let's talk about specs and price. Now, this guy is, I'm, I'm wiping it with some alcohol here in case you wonder what in the heck is happening on this review. Uh, this is the, the, um, the review where the rails, uh, you know, we have gone off the rails uh, for sure, uh, just because... Uh, you know, that's what happens on the Knives Fast channel. Okay, so this is a super cool little knife. And uh, let's go over the specs. Now, this guy is $69. Uh, and I am looking at it over on Blade HQ. Uh, as far as specs, it is 154 cm, 4.8 inches overall, 3.425 inches on the blade. So, again, that's what's cool to me. This is not your normal fixed blade guys because what's happening here is you don't have to worry about blade to handle ratio you have this guy and it just sits on your finger and then down over in here uh you know where you grip it with these two fingers and it is just really nice in the hand your this finger slots in right in this choil and you just have this really nice control over this knife. This jimping is perfection. It's not soft. It is very well done jimping uh, by Kaiser on this particular model. Very nicely done. 0.11 blade thickness. The, um, cutting edge is 2.4. It is a Warncliffe. Uh, handle length is 1.375. It's a two finger knife, if you will. Uh, handle thickness 0.45, 1.87 ounces, and again, it's designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Now, is this going to solve every one? Is this the end-all, be-all knife uh, for everything you would want to use it for? Absolutely not. By the way, there's your Rat 2, and here is your Rat 1. This guy is very small, as you can see. Uh, I, I, I am very excited about this one. Uh, probably going to end up giving this one away on the channel. Kevin uh, gave it to me, so I'm probably going to give it away. Somebody's going to really enjoy this knife, um, and it is cool. I mean, they have cleaned out this hole really well. It feels very nice on the hand, um, very, very good. And again, you're just this jimping is perfection. Uh, it is a flat grind. It is not a hollow, uh, and it is just cool. Now, what else am I going to talk about uh, about this one? Not a whole lot. I mean, uh, it is just very simple. Again, it is a little quirky to put in this sheath until you figure it out. Once you figure it out, you just put it straight in there. The way it looks on the sheath, you pop it in. Now, you can over, you can put it too far in, so you just back it off a notch. And once you do that, there's no wiggle, there's no wobble. It is really uh, well done in that regard. So what do you guys think of this little guy? Uh, to me, it is cool, even though it cut me. Um, and uh, I still like it very much. It, I mean, it's a tiny little cut, but I believe I don't understand why uh, it will be fine in about five minutes. But when I first have a cut, uh, I bleed like crazy and I don't know why. So, oh, come on. Just stay on the stand. Thank you. There we go. So that is, <laughs> this is the train wreck review, guys. For seriousness, I am absolutely losing my mind. So there is the Kaiser Variable Warncliffe. And I'm going to finish this review, go cut some cardboard, do another review, and hope that it, everything gets right back on the rails. So uh, there you go. The Kaiser Variable Warncliffe. Really, really cool. Uh, thumbs up, comment, all the things, and thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.